Well, good morning, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It is the 5th of April, 2021. Hope you had an awesome uh, Easter weekend here. Doing a real quick uh, recap here of March. This is the five-week uh, retail calendar March, the way our customers would look at the month. Uh, here in the U.S., we were just about a degree colder than last year, but still seventh hottest in 36 years. We had a very hot March last year, obviously third hottest this year, seventh hottest. So still a very warm March. 5% drier, uh, right in the middle of the pack, about average national precip, and 27% less snow versus last year, least in 36 years. So almost no snow uh, outside of, of the Rocky Mountains here in the U.S. this year. Look at Canada, warmest in 11 years, above average. Uh, Europe, a little bit cooler, cools in three years, uh, around average. Russia, the cold spot, colds in three years, below average. Um, China, warmest in three. Australia ticked up a bit, warmer than last year. And India, warmest in three. And then really cold down in Brazil, again, um, mostly in the western and northern part of the country here, but uh, coldest in 36 years for Brazil. And maps inset left are the world trends versus average again for this uh, five-week retail march. Recap of last week here, now getting us into early April here. Uh, here in the U.S. Uh, last week, we were about a degree colder than last year. Colds in three years, 16th colds in 36 years. We had some record colds throughout the southeast with frost and um, freezes, um, again, up and down the east coast here last week. 7% uh, wet in the last year, 13th thrice in 36 years, so below average precip. And again, not much snow, 74% less snow than a year ago, least in nine years, fourth least in 36 years. Canada, uh, warm west, cold east, but uh, Canada was about four degrees warmer than last year. Europe had a big, huge uh, heat wave here that you may have heard about. Europe plus 4.3 warmer, warmest in four years. Russia, still colder trends, coldest in three. Um, China, hot, uh, warmest in 19 years. Australia, a little bit cooler. Uh, India, warmest in four. And uh, again, Brazil continuing their cool trends of coldest in nine years. Uh, maps inset left again are trends versus average. One thing that's way up again continues to remain up is just uh, dry to drought phases across the U.S. getting some help in some spots but it's not uh, not widespread at this stage so we still have 63 percent of the country in dry to drought phases. That's the most in um, uh, since 2013. So again 2013 uh, was the peak or even drier than the 2012 year, obviously, which was the uh, epic uh, drought year across the Corn Belt. So we'll see. Again, the, the powder still suggests we have a dry year ahead here. So much of the country, we may actually see this number expand uh, as we go through the through the season here. Um, government will tell you there's no inflation. Um, that's hard to believe if you've uh, had to fill up your gas pump here recently. Uh, gasoline prices are soaring, obviously, um, up 49% over last year. Um, Obviously, corn farmers are loving life right now because corn prices are obviously up as well, 83% up over a year ago. Beef up 91%. And if you try to build a deck, a fence, a house, uh, you know very well that uh, lumber prices have gone through the roof, uh, historic highs, uh, up 332%. So we were talking about lumber uh, deflation just a couple years ago, and now we're talking about massive lumber inflation. So I don't care what the government says. It looks like we have a lot of inflation here for you and me, uh, everyday folks. Looking at this week here, the first full week of April here, 4.4 um, warmer than last year, warmest in 36 years. So this is a very, very warm week, a strong week for seasonal merchandise sales. Um, again, just a fantastic start compared to last year, which again, was just we had an epically cold April, May last year. Uh, not the case this year. 27% wetter, ninth wettest in 36 years. Uh, so we have above average uh, precip on that front. Again, least snow in 36 years. So some spotty in the Northwest mountains, but uh, not much snow out there um, this time of year. Looking at next week here, uh, middle April here, hard to believe, 7.9 degrees warmer than last year, warmest in four years, 11th warmest in 36 years. So above average continues, uh, not quite as hot as this week. 49% drier than last year, least in 13 years. So again, a, a dry week uh, coming up here in mid-April, least snow in 36 years. We'll stop saying that four-letter word here, um, probably here with this uh, latest update here. I'm just about done with the snow season. One thing we're not done with, unfortunately, is the hurricane season. Uh, we think it's another hyper Active season ahead here. Um, our early outlook suggests the third most named storms in 165 years, somewhere north of 23 to 25 systems. At least last year was over 30 named systems. Um, our bullseye target area, just based on statistics and cycles and everything that's teamed up here, is uh, Florida dodged a bullet last year. Uh, we do not think that's the case this year. So Louisiana was ground zero last year for, I think, five plus systems, landfalling systems. Uh, Florida looks like you're the... Um, recipient this year, potentially some major hurricanes. Um, so this is just not a, it's going to see a lot of activity that actually develops close in the United States and the Caribbean uh, rather than the late season Cape Verde system. So I think, again, you're going to, systems close into the Florida area are going to be a very big concern here this year. So again, again, prepare um, and uh, prepare and hope for the best. So with that, folks, uh, we hope you have a great week and we will be back here again uh, this time next week.